through the recovery. Uh, Jay Barrett, Cam Reddish should be running the show. Williamson almost turns it over, and here is R.J. Barrett, Duke's leading scorer, and he finds some friendly nighttime banking hours there on two of the Pittsburgh freshman finds who could have played another year of prep school ball. From the corner, off the feed from Williamson, Cam Reddish knocks down the three. They especially want to get Zion Williamson out of, on the floor, away from the weak side because of his shot blocking ability. Audience Tony missed in round does not. Zion lost the handle on it, gets it back. Jack White and his struggles from three continue, but Zion's there to clean it up. Buckets, you look at the putback. So good at getting in the lane, when that basketball goes up. Look, no one really gets a body on Zion Williamson. You almost have to face guard him because if he gets to the basket, you have no shot. What a nice putback by number one in black. And Xavier Johnson gets it over Zion. Not necessarily the. You know, he can play the point, but they're used to having Trey Jones do it. Zion with a head of steam. The three-point play in the second foul on Terrell Brown. Let's look at this first fun. Yeah, when he gets in space, Zion. Over, he dominated that game for long stretches. Trey McGowan takes the miss, and he's on the push. McGowan goes in with the left hand, and he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Like the last three defensive possessions by Pitt, forcing Duke to shoot perimeter jump shots. That's not their screen. Wilson Frey. And he's now one of six former Duke players under Coach K, who's a Division I head coach. And we talked to Coach K and asked him, what qualities, what velocities do you see in you? As a 31% three-point shooting team, it would be the worst ever for Duke. They can do this. They can shoot twos. And Mark Quise Bolden off a great feed from Barrett. In there and dove Mark Quise Bolden. Give it to him on the interior. They need more of that. A little step back. Wilson Frey. No, he didn't. May have trouble from behind the arc, but they're third in the country, shooting 59% from inside it. And that's where Cam Reddish is. He misses that one. Zion gets it back. All due respect to Cameron, which is awesome, and it was tremendous on Saturday night. I think Fog Allen Fieldhouse is the best place to see a college game. With all due respect, there might be a few fellas wearing uh, the Duke black jerseys right now that Jay-Z could be interested in seeing, including Zion Williamson. <laughs> back to shooting jump shots and somebody's got to keep Zion Williamson off the glass. Barrett lines up a three and ahead of him and makes the steal for the Blue Devils. Good look from Goldwire to Barrett and Zion is there to clean it up. Six for six for Zion Williamson. Wilson Frame got it back. He made noise from three and now does it on the drive. He's playing against the two Blue Devils right now. The Panthers' first field goal in more than five minutes. A long three ball goes down for Reddish. And Duke has hit four of his first eight threes. On the drive is it Xavier Johnson. They need him to get going. That was just his second bucket. Got to reverse the basketball and look to drive it. I'd like to see them get out in transition after some missed baskets as well. Here, the graduate transfer from New Mexico State had the ball. Here's Xavier Johnson getting into the paint. That's his strong suit. X marks the spot. That's right, three all year. Prior to tonight. High handoff. Zion goes up and gets it and scores. On ESPN Plus, you saw that Duke had to modify their vertical jump and put the measuring apparatus on weights to get it high enough to mark it for Zion. As eight points. Panthers can get Trey McGowan's going with him. They can hang in this thing. Reddish misses the three. There's Williamson again. And Williamson puts it home. And he'll have a chance for the three-point play. And they've got guys who can drive it, though. The Syracuse zone gave them problems on Saturday. Duke's sitting in the zone now. Xavier Johnson has it wiped away by Marquise Bolton. The player over 6'6". And Chukwuka really hasn't played much lately until tonight. Zion goes to the bucket. And he's just unstoppable. He's a perfect nine for nine. Guys have the great ability to drive, put the ball on the floor, and get in the paint. But we want to keep him out of there. And Brooke, that's why I think we saw a lot of 2-3 zone from Duke there. But as R.J. Barrett pushes the lead to 21 for the Blue Devils. Audis Tony finally gets one to go. Audis had a tough first half drive. Well done by Audis. RJ Barrett driving again. RJ scored a couple of quick buckets to start the second half. 
This pit program finds has been really uh -oh. in the ducks. Uh, oh! Diane Williamson was stealing the stop. Program's really been beaten up the last couple of years, but they've continued to show fight this year when they've had games that they really struggled. They certainly haven't struggled with the magnitude they did a year ago. They've been a perfect 10 for 10. Well, even Clay Thompson missed one last night, too, at some point. There's McGowan's getting into the lane. To... It's a game of ACC play. R.J. Barrett. Another offensive rebound from Marquis Bolden, and yet another one from Jack White. Show that zone, which Jeff was telling us today, and we watched the game on Saturday against Syracuse. It, it did vex the Panthers for most of the day. Gets in there, shot clock's at 10. Here come the Blue Devils. Yeah, that's got to be a bounce pass. <laughs> the game has missed his only two field goal attempts tonight. The Gowans. Inside 14 to go. Pittsburgh in need of making a little run. Here's McGowan's. Zion out to Barrett. Zion with another offensive rebound. Now Reddish will get a chance. And he knocks down the three. So Fonz, you or Brooke is in deep scores. You have any of the three guys? Right. Marvin Bagley. That's one. Brooke, you got a guess? Cam Reddish knocks down another shot. Reddish starting to find that stroke. Lions made one tonight and had that one rim out. City and Deer, good bounce pass. Wilson Frame goes up, uses his body to protect the basketball and scores. He's bolding, couldn't get it going here. Comes Pittsburgh. McGowan's scores in the paint. Here because he was up recruiting his older brother, Tyus. Yeah. And he said he first met him, and Trey came up and told him what a huge Duke fan he was. He's R.J. Barrett. Based solely on who's done the most when the least was expected, Kermit Davis at Ole Miss would get some. High handoff from Marquise Bolden with the finish. Lindale Wiggington, yeah. Cameron Large, Solomon Young, and with a young influx of talent led by Taylor Horton Tucker. Shot clock's at seven. That was a little veteran Trey McGowan's move. You see him use that offhand. <laughs> Two guards are going to have to be dealt with in this league for the next several years. Barrett rolls in a three. Reddish, quick catch and shoot. Delorier keeps it alive. But then Deer's coming the other way. He gets by Jack White. He's hitting with a bucket. You mean sort of like Ashton Hagens of Kentucky did to, I think it was Kelvin Johnson then, <laughs> yes. Saturday against Auburn and told him to uh, wake up and with yeah. his choice words, yeah. instead. Johnson loses it on the way to the bucket. The bounce pass to Zion. Barrett and those two buddies hook up. Another assist for Zion Williamson. Very mature performance and an excellent one. From Zion Williamson and R.J. Barrett particularly, and Duke generally, as the Blue Devils will get out of here with a 15-point win.